things that make you question how smart somebody is. Like instantly. All right. Things yeah. that instantly make people question how smart you are. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I figured that uh, Greg and Seabass would both have a bunch of uh, interesting slash fun things to share. Mm-hmm. I should have looked at like, this. Give me, a, give me, a, give me an example. Well, I equate the looking at a you know judging intelligence with maturity. So I think if you have a complicated and picky sandwich order, like hold the pickles or don't put onions, and <laughs> I can't have a single piece of olive on there, it seems immature and childlike to me. Therefore, yeah. it seems to me not smart. Okay, like just eat an onion. So they're just more of like a simple, yeah, like a simple person over complicating mm-hmm. a sandwich order, like oh. Oh, come on. I would I would agree with yeah, that and add up. on like and just categorically throwing out entire types of food. Not for an ethical reason. We can argue about vegetarians sure. and vegans, but I dated people who were just like, Oh, I just don't eat seafood. Mm. <laughs> I, I just don't. Uh, don't like it. It's, there's just plenty won't. of that's just you being picky, childish, yeah. ign- intentionally ignorant, essentially. Now I would say as a whole, I don't eat seafood, but I do like cod. I like shrimp. There, there's certain things I like crab. Mm-hmm. There's you certain things it's not that your, I like. It's not your first choice. Yeah, but, but I would I would say like, do you like seafood? I, I'd be like, nah, not really. Right. You know, nah. But, but endless I mean, shrimp. Endless shrimp. <laughs> oh god, I get yeah. a lot of it. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so good. All right, see bass. Well, I obviously, as anybody who and I'm. Very much looking at Sammy, who is into astrology, tarot, <laughs> psychics. I've hit that again and again and again. But for a few people who are still out, because I think a lot of it is they just kind of like, oh, maybe their mom or their granddad or mother were into it, and they kind of followed along. But think about what's actually happening. When you're, when you're getting a tarot reading or someone is pretending to talk to your dead relative, that person is not. Number one, they're not. And think about what if they actually were. That would be amazing. That would be beyond yeah. belief. We talk about this with ghosts. Beyond, and, beyond, yeah. Uh-huh. The, <laughs> this person is a—they're like—they're basically a god. Or think about what's happening when you get a, a horoscope reading. You're saying to me that you, because you were born two days later than some other person in a different month, that the that the location of a star system millions of miles away affects what your luck, your health, your what? Like that's. Think about what you're doing when you believe in those things. You'll realize you are stupid. <laughs> think about it think about and it. you'll wow. realize what's actually happening. Wow. Yeah, one on the list here says if they believe in TV magicians, ghost hunting shows, <laughs> TV <or> that, magicians, <laughs> or, that, or that most other reality shows are not scripted. But they're oh. so fun yeah. to watch, TV magicians. Okay, fun is one I thing, bet. but like when you're believing it. But I'm not thinking, so oh, wow, know, he's levitating. Right. Right. That's why I like uh, Penn and Teller's Fool Us, is because it's more like you still get to enjoy the yeah, illusion. Exactly. Uh-huh. But it's the whole context is, oh, we're figuring out the illusion or trying to figure out the illusion. Okay. But we're not pretending. Right. That, that is right. David right. real. Whenever David that Blaine, this person's floating. Whenever he first jumped on the yeah. scene, and it's like, oh, he's just like lifting one leg and hiding the other one at an angle. <laughs> right. If you're like, oh my God, it's just With camera it's tricks. It's real magic. Being a hor- somebody said, uh, talking about horoscopes, I'm toxic and clingy because I'm like, you know, Capricorn. No, the stars had nothing to do with it. You're toxic right, and right. clingy <laughs> because that's who you are. A lot, a lot of these I, I, I also equate to not only stupidity, uh, stupidity, but swipe left. Like when I see ah. cancer here and a dog mom, I'm <laughs> like, swipe left. <What? laughs> <laughs> and I'll, th- I'll throw that. I think you're a little dumb, and I'm, oh, this is, yeah, is wow. going to cause a rift between me and Greg. If you, could sit, if you call yourself a dog parent of any kind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this will cause a rift. I see your astrology, <laughs> and I raise you what you did just the other day when you said you were on a first class first class flight and I got my complimentary beverage. I would put people on the list when you call things free when they're not free. Free drinks on a flight, free health care in Canada, free money for college. None of it is free. It's either built into the price of the ticket or you're paying for it through your taxes. Oh, I got a free drink on my flight. No, you didn't. You probably paid six hundred dollars for that glass of champagne. Yeah, because for every person like Seabass on a flight who will enjoy a bunch of the quote free drinks in first class there's someone like me who doesn't have one. And so they, they've they certainly made their money. Right, right. It's right. paying for the room. But you're paying for it. The inclu- yeah, I'm paying. Yeah, the this more is accurate. Saying. So, like, you're never going to beat the house. Right. The exactly. more accurate you know. term is included. Right. Mm. Sure. In- there you go. Included. Yeah. When people yeah. go to an all, 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 what do you call it, all inclusive resort and they say, oh, the, the food's free. Mm, you uh, absolutely uh, paid $3,000 for think, that yeah. food. Uh, text from the 626, uh, since we're talking about the plane, people who clap in the plane lands. We brought that up before. Oh, yeah. Those are, <laughs> yeah. they, they are dumb, but also just obnoxious. And right. part of that is narcissism, too. It's, hey, yeah. look at me. Another one I have, um, oh, boy. <laughs> Anytime, and this, There's this, so many. Where do you go next? Seems, yeah. This one seems counterintuitive. I know you're dumb if you have to brag that you have a master's. 
and you stop there. Because <laughs> you don't elaborate on what yeah, it you is. Right. Say, yeah. And people yeah. say this to me all the time. Well, I have a master's or so and so. Well, right. they have a master's. Always, always in what? Because I guarantee it's in master's, of, <laughs> ma master's of fine art, <laughs> master's of education, which is basically kindergarten class. I mean, it's it, these are t these are one or two little like kind of bonus degrees. Masters uh -huh. in you know accounting like, like these are very easy things that anyone could do, which is why you as a stupid person got that masters. Uh, someone <laughs> says what instantly makes me question how smart somebody is when they try to tell me their IQ. Yes, which, yeah. I mean, that goes along with anybody who brags about how much money they have. Oh. They probably mm. don't, or how big of a penis they have. They probably yeah. don't. They probably so if they're bragging about how you know smart what their IQ is, it's probably not yeah. the case. Though they probably took an online quiz that's designed to overinflate the number to, so that you're Make happy. You feel good. So, right. Yeah, you, oh, I yeah. like that. It's they what they do with sizing of clothes in places like Old Navy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm an extra large. Yeah. So like Yo. when I was uh you know needed to do wardrobe stuff for that TV show that uh -huh. I was uh, doing something for, and I had to send them my sizes. I'm thinking, well, you know, in jeans I wear this, but when you actually do the measurement, it's nowhere close to that. It's much more, mm. right? Yes. Oh, of course, when they Huge. size you down like. Oh my God, guys! I'm a 38 now. Ooh. No, you're a 46. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks it, though because it pushes people like me into kid sizes. Yeah, they make you feel better. Oh wow, I'm too, oh, I'm too that's low. So strong. Yeah, I can't oh, find clothes. Oh, I can't no. find I can't find jeans room enough for my big penis grab. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shop in a different section where the clothes are smaller because oh, I'm yeah. skinny. So, yeah, try uh, <laughs> try going to like just regular stores. Oh, who try, don't offer a size that would yeah. Even try fit to you. go to H and M yeah, as right. Woody and I yeah. and find anything that fits. <laughs> and they're like anything. Our double X doesn't no. fit you. No. no, your double X is everybody else's medium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that is, so sad. Say, let's try like Europe or Japan. Oh my God, yeah. you go there and like a triple X is yep. a, a large, mm -hmm. <laughs> for real. I know if it says slim fit. Oh. Oh, it, mm -hmm. by the, which by the way, when you're selling mm -hmm. something, it's a it's a three X slim fit. That no. uh, doesn't make much sense to me either. Yeah, that's, yeah, like that's an oxymoron right uh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, three X slim slim fit. fit. Okay. Okay. Um, something on my list is also when you say up or down when you're referring to direction, but you use it against north and south. So you're living in New York, and oh, I'm going to drive up to Florida. No. Uh, down. <laughs> that might be just a pet peeve. I don't know if it's an intelligence thing. Who says that? Oh, a lot of people. Yeah. I'm going to drive up to Florida I'm from gonna New York drive up when to it's Florida. south. Yeah. And then you're yeah. in Florida. Yeah, I was visiting my parents down in New York. Uh, up in New over. York. It's yeah. not over. Like you're driving Morons. up. It's kind of a... Yeah, yeah. if you're in I, Portland I you, and you're driving to Seattle, you're not driving over to Seattle. Yeah. You're driving up to driving Seattle. Driving up to. Right. But I know there's plenty of people. I'm going to mm. go down to Seattle. I don't uh, know any which of Which is that. way north of you. Yeah, I'm at the North Pole. I'm going to go up to... <laughs> up to the <laughs> South Pole. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. That might just be a pet peeve thing. Uh, mine is anytime you get your account taken over. You're a dumb person. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'll get some, you'll get a message. <laughs> OMG, I found this video of you online. You can't... And then it's like right. your friend. You're like, yeah. oh, you idiot. You dumbass. Because then you know that they clicked on the exact same message that I'm too smart to click on. But you know that that dumbass gets it because I get it on like uh, any D, like the Cartnark Instagram DM all the time. Yeah. I'm I'm hey, can you please help? Uh, click on my Cash App tag. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. right, right. Well, I know you're stupid enough to have clicked on that uh, yesterday. Now uh -huh. I'm getting the damn message. You dummy. Well, I'll see getting uh, getting fooled by that and raise it too. And Woody, I hope your mom's not listening. Uh -oh. Anybody who owns a timeshare, uh, why? why? Why would you pay? Fifty thousand dollars today for a vacation I might take in fourteen years. Right. When that is the dumbest concept. I agree. I, I'm not on board with timeshare. Oh, how stupid! If, well, all. because those uh, those parts of the world they don't have hotels in them. Oh, oh right. wait, and you can't Airbnb's book a hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, because I don't like flexibility. Oh, wait. <laughs> right. Yeah. I want to go to the same place every day. They yeah. are certainly not for everybody. However, I have known people, and I, I think my mom and stepdad are kind of on the fence at this point. But like, I have known other people in our family. Who have gotten these? They love it because once they retire, like they use it all the time. And I think, but like I don't like it because I don't want to commit to a certain place. Yeah, in perpetuity. And then they say, you, you know, like I don't like switch forever. properties or whatever. But why? I agree. The first time I ever went yeah. to Cancun, they I went to one of those things not knowing what it was, and it was a timeshare pitch. And they said, well, yeah, but we're do running this special. It's forty eight thousand dollars, but that'll get you vacations for like twenty years. I said, you know what else? 
will get me vacations for 20 years. Every year I can just book one. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Why do I want to pay yeah. you and that's 50 how, grand now? Yeah. And that's uh-huh. how my wife and I feel about the place that we go in Mexico. Like we know we're going to go there again next year. Sure. But I'm not going to do they and they offer the same kind of thing, the vacation club or whatever right. they call it. Mm-hmm. It's a timeshare. Yeah, I, 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 not invest interested. in a place that's going to get older and older and right. older. Yeah. And like, right. I would get yeah. what, what he's saying, like, oh, we have a place, if it was like $40 a day. But no, it's expensive. Yeah. 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 Very it's not expensive. cheaper than the hotel. So just get the damn hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. How about a car that is just crazy messy? I look yes. at that and I think, wow, you are not Agreed. intelligent. Yeah. Like, Agreed. A car, <laughs> I mean, I take it to the nth level like you do, Woody. A car should have literally nothing in it. Yeah. Nothing. My Not car, even a cup. My car is yeah. always spotless. Yeah. There's nothing in my car. There's nothing out. But you see cars. There's nothing left out. Garbage, wrappers, jackets, yeah. books. like All kinds of what stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, like even if I drop something like really small. Yeah. Like I was getting a uh, an Advil out of my pocket that I, you know, in, in the car. And it fell between the seats. Once I got home, I basically <laughs> took the car apart. Yeah. To get that Advil because I knew it was loose and rolling around down there. Well, you're not an animal. I have stuff exactly. in my trunk. Like, well, okay, what is oh, it? That, that's, Canvas bags. That's normal. An emergency kit. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's normal. But I, I see yeah, but you know what I'm umbrella. Talking. I mean, yeah. in the body like, of the car. Where yeah. there's in like the literally room for one person. Okay, let's just mm. say, I think I know what you're talking about, Greg. Let's just say, like, uh, after work today, if uh, Menace was going to grab a ride with somebody and he mm. got to their car, and if you have to, if that person has to say, Hold on, let me get all my stuff off the seat. (laughs) Then that you're the person that Greg's talking about because it shows how disorganized and (laughs) and disheveled you are. Yeah, they have to move all the crap out of the way just so you can get in the car. I honestly don't want to get in that car. There's car hoarding, Greg, and you don't. know. They they have a condition. Yeah, right. Called being idiots and where you can barely fit in it. (laughs) All right, see you, Bass. Uh, Well, I'll 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 go on the car thing here. Loud exhaust, and I know this is one of Woody's too. You you unnecessarily you are doing that because you want people to pay attention to you and your car, and you want to then. But but also you know that you're pissing everybody off. Like pay attention to me. I'm making your life worse. I'm making the neighborhood worse. I'm waking up your dog and your kids Mm -hmm. and everything else. And uh, before you texted him with oh my 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 performance, you're not going 150 every day. Yeah. If you want to take it out to the track, great, but that's not what you're right. doing. 99.99% yeah. of the time, you're just being a yeah. dick yeah. for your own personal. It's, it's basically it's ear graffiti, essentially. It's, right. Now, there are, <laughs> there are cars that have louder exhaust than others, but then there's also those guys, the guys you were talking about. Like when they, anytime they accelerate from a dead stop, they have to <laughs> slam it and it goes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's like it's rattling the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who do you think you're? I wish. And here, <laughs> <laughs> and there are every every municipality. <laughs> I'm going to jump on the Greg Gory train. Every municipality has laws against this, and all <laughs> these cars could be ticketed. I'm blaming yeah. you, cops. Write For some not pit, ticketed. Write some piddly tickets to get these a holes off the road. Yeah, because they're Officer stupid. Officer Chow, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs>